Hi, and welcome to this video where I am going to explain to you how to submit a purchase request to buy things from the Triton store. Um, I'm sure you recognize my voice, Michaela Wells, coordinator of student organizations of Turn and Sorority Life and the Office of Student Involvement, and I'll be walking you through this process today. Um, so obviously, first things first, you're going to log into Triton Connect, and then you're going to go to whichever student group you're requesting uh, this purchase for. I'm going to go ahead and use Student Social Work Association as an example, as they have a Triton store purchase um, allocated to them. So we're going to click on that. Sorry, I just whipped through that really quick. Um, you're going to get to the back end of your student group's portal. You're going to go ahead and click this gray budget button. Um, and then you're going to want to make sure this drop down is for the current budget period. So Early fall 2023 is what the budget period we're currently on. Once the school year starts, it will be fall 2023. Um, so you just want to make sure you're always on the correct budget period. Since we're doing a payment request, we're going to scroll down. As you can see here, they have giveaways from the Triton store um, allocated to them from the budget request they submitted in the early fall period. So they're going to go ahead and click this request payment button. Important to note, they requested $17. They were allocated $10.88. Um, it looks like both of these are giveaways from the Triton store. So maybe instead of giving getting two options, they'll just get one giveaway and they'll combine that for $23 and some change. Um, either way, they'll click this request payment button. Transaction type, Triton store purchase, description. They'll probably put September giveaway, September meeting giveaway. And then you're going to want to leave this expense alone. And then you'll remember um, they were allocated 1088. So we're going to put this here. Um, and then we'll click, we'll make sure it says 1088 here. We'll go ahead and click next. And then it's going to ask you who's submitting this payment request. So we're going to go ahead and say it's Eva. As you can see, she is their treasurer down there. Um, and then they would want to type their advisor. My memory is not serving me well, so I'm just going to type myself for now because this is just an example that I'm going to delete when I'm done. Um, and then the purchase type, this my student group needs something from the Triton store. You'll select that option, and then it'll say, what date do you need the items you're requesting? As you can see down here, their meeting is on September 14th, so we're going to go ahead and click September 14th and next. And then it says, please list each item you are requesting and what quantity you would like ordered. So we're going to go over to the Triton store website. And a thing to note is that you're always going to want to make sure that what you're ordering is something that they have in store. We are not able to order things online. So for instance, um, and because I'm not going to do a lot of back work right now, um, okay, this Umsel Etch Tumblr Glass is $9.99. They have $10.88 to spend. So this is perfect. We're going to go ahead and click into that. And then in this first box, we're going to put one umsol etched tumbler glass. Is that what it said? Yep. Okay. And then in the next box, so if you had multiple items, you would down here say two gray sweatshirt blanket. Um. So that's the quantity and what you want. So you will see on here, it asks you per, to provide the item number for the items you're requesting. That item number is going to be this SKU number right here. So you can just go ahead and copy it. And you're going to want to put these in the same order that you put that up there. So if we had two sweatshirt blankets down here, we would want to put the SKU for the two sweatshirt blankets underneath the SKU for the etched tumbler glass. And then this is actually pretty simple. These are the only details we need to order stuff for you from the Triton store is the, quant the quantity and the um, SKU number for it. And then it will say, thank you for completing this form. Please be sure to click submit. Don't forget to click submit. Otherwise, if you click out of it, your thing does not submit. So you'll go ahead and click submit and then it will send it to um, the Office of Student Involvement team for approval. And so just really quick to show you kind of what that looks like on our end. Um, when I log into Triton Connect, I go to my home page and I go to my workflows and it shows me I have a payment request from myself because I just submitted it for Student Social Work Association September meeting giveaway. When I click open, it has me approve it. So this is where I provide the MO code to anyone included in this process. Um, so I'll provide the MO code here and approve it. Then Dorian will approve it. Dorian's the director of the Office of Student Involvement and has to approve any purchases that are made from our office. 
using um, any funds that are underneath our office account and all the student group accounts are under our office's account. So Dorian will approve it and then it will get sent to our business support specialist who is Morgan. And Morgan will open the submission and she will look at what you are ordering down here. She'll see the details of what you want. She will go to the Triton store. She will purchase those items for you. She'll bring them up to the Office of Student Involvement. We will email you to tell you that your things are here. Um, and then she will go in here and she will click items order slash invoice paid for, meaning that your stuff is ordered and will be in the Office of Student Involvement whenever you're notified. So this is the same thing that will pop up for Amazon orders. Um, if it says items ordered slash invoice paid for, that means whenever they get sent to the Office of Student Involvement, the front desk will email you and let you know that it's there. Obviously, with Triton Store items, she's going there physically, grabbing them, and then bringing them back to the Office of Student Involvement for you all to pick up. So you'll get an email almost immediately, probably after Morgan approves this. And then this approved button means it will email you, whoever submitted it, and notify you that your thing has been approved. So just so you kind of know that back end process, I think it's helpful for you all to kind of see what we are seeing. Um, as I know there's <clears throat> sometimes some confusion behind these purchases and purchase requests. So I just wanted to make sure you all saw that back end. So thank you so much for listening. I hope this helps you in your future payment requests.